So here we are back at the wharf. It's been a little bit of time since I've been here, so I've uh, just brought a few things to the boat. Just want to tidy up a couple of bits, clean up the path to the back excess of the boat. They've moved my bricks while I was away, it's very nice of them. And this is the boat here now. I've brought a few things, uh, some more wood. I've brought some paint. Uh, maybe not going to get on with it this week, but there's a Jotomastic 90 in a fix, and I would highly recommend if you're going to use it, solvent resistant rollers. Well, yeah, I've put these uh, scaffolding boards down so that we're not covered in mud. I mean, these are half rotten and they're covered in mud anyway, so they're a little bit slippy, but it's better than being in the mud. But continuing on uh, with the boards I've put down, just to it is, it's muddy already, I can't imagine what it's going to be like in autumn. So here's a bit of uh, space down the back of the boat. Yeah, it's a nice little spot, it's quiet. And so the dogs in the kennels behind me goes off. I'll show you a test on the outside of this hatch as well today. So let's, let's get on with that. So this week's new toy, I got a random orbit sander. So let's uh, go and have a look. Yeah, it's pretty good, got it on sale at Wix. Quite good. So we're going to check this bit out with the random orbit sander. So yeah, let's get on with that. Effective pretty quickly. It's taken all of the rust off, most of the mill scale. Just some, uh, just some tiny little bits still still here, but that's you want that a little bit of that there for the rust treatment to work. So yeah, just cut that with the rust treatment, and we'll say that's done for a test, and we'll paint it, take it off, and we'll see how they, both these little bits are next week when we come back. The, uh, the magic product. should ever really dip into a container. You should have to decant a little first, but I'm being lazy. And I'm using a brand new paintbrush, so there's no contamination on it. So you don't need much, just do a test. You'll see it's, uh, it's really good, the random orbit sand, it lifted everything straight off. So I've put some fur on the outside. So, I mean, that was fairly easy. I mean, it's a sm fairly small uh, little bit of work, but it's given me a bit of confidence for the rest of it. So, got a lovely morning, lovely Sunday morning. Just sat having some breakfast. Uh, we meet John over there, just sat chatting to him like as if I'm on, I'm on holiday. <coughs> yeah, just uh, set up a deck chair on the back of the boat here in the sun. A lovely morning, eight o'clock. Yeah. Let's see how the day goes today. So let's have a look how that has gone off overnight. It's not too bad, the entire thing is turned black. It's a pretty good test. Now in theory that should be good to wait to be painted for six months apparently according to the bottle. So I will wash, up, wash off the rest of the residue. Let's just have a look at this side as well. And that's great. They were, they'd stayed silver. Uh, for an hour or two after I painted them, so now that they've gone completely black, it's really good. So I'm going to go get a little water and wash all this off now. So on with today's job a little bit. I've got some gear out, we'll do some sanding, and wet spirits on the bit that I've done. I've got some paint out, I've also measured out 175 millilitres and a 50 millilitres for the two pack epoxy paint. It's 3.5 to 1. So that is, then we've got that as well. So, and my plan is now just to sand these back and then uh, wipe them all with white spirits and give it all a once over with a little bit of the epoxy paint and leave it for a week and see how that looks next week. And if it's any good, uh, we'll sand it back a little bit when it's dry and then we'll get on with the rest of the boat. So yeah, wish me luck. So I've not used epoxy paints before. It's three and a half to one 
for the fix to the paint. So I've got 50 mil of the fix and 175 mil of the paint. And it's been sloshed around, but it's actually at the tape height. So. so yeah, so next step is to mix these two, which we're gonna do now. Bottoms up. That's all I mix into the paint. There's probably a bit more paint than I need, but uh, yeah, we should be, should be interesting. Just a test before we do the entire boat. So, but yeah, it's, and it's coming up nice, I guess. I mean, obviously you've probably got a stirrer. This will think will be fine. It's probably more than I need, but uh, the measuring jug didn't have any smaller measurements, so. So after a little uh, rush treatment and uh, and stuff, here's the the painted bit. The paint looks lovely. Uh, so obviously it's not a very good finish yet, but it's just a primer and it'll get sanded between coats and it'll have multiple coats. But this is just a test to see how it goes on, how it mixes, um, how it covers the rust if it bubbles at any point, you know. So, but me being me, I made up way too much paint. So if any any of you that actually know me. No one to get started, it's kind of hard to do stuff, it's hard to, hard to stop. So I've also done this entire bit, sanded it all back, rust treated it, washed it all off, um, then degreased it and then painted it. This side, it's all been sanded uh, all the way back to metal in some places, then I've put the, the magic fur tan rust treatment. I'll say fur tan again for my mate Tim. Uh, he keeps giving me grief every time I see him because I say fur tan too much, so we'll have another fur tan for him. So, but then uh, wash all that off in an hour or so and uh, give it another sand. Then I'll put the white spirit on it and then I'll go over that with some paint if the epoxy hasn't completely gone off by then. But uh, yeah, having fun today, Sunday. After mixing up the epoxy paint and doing the procedures, I feel a little bit more confident to get started on some of the other bits of the boat. Arguably the worst bit of rust on the boat is here. So there's quite a bit of uh, pitting, uh, you know, lots of very deep holes, big chunks of scale. So, so yeah. So this lot will all need wire brushing before sanding, uh, just to clean out some of these deeper pits. And then it will probably need a bit of body filler actually, just to fatten it all off. We could fill it all with paint, but yeah, these bits are going to be at the worst, I think, or the hardest. Or at least they appear to be the worst bits on the boat. Yeah, it's not too bad. The rest is just really surface flash. You know, just sand it back and it disappears almost pretty much. I mean, bits like this, yeah, it'll be no problem. Um, so, yeah, so I'm a little bit more confident. So, this will probably be the next bit that all gets cleaned up and sanded. So, yeah, but with the boat being so low down now and not on the ground, it's handy to be able to take a walk around and have a look at different bits. I mean, here, for example, it's barely pitted at all, it's just stained. So, even though that looks as bad, it's nowhere near as bad as that little bit on the top down there so having a look at the paint from the outside I mean it, obviously it's not pretty it's not supposed to be at this point it's just covering up some big bits of rust and testing so as we come around this side here's the uh, bit that's reacting with the rust treatment <coughs> let's get on the wood to stay out of the mud and this is the paint from the outside and it's, uh, it's got a little drip there but again it's we're going to get sanded back and leveled out. It's quite handy uh, having the boat at this height, like I said, to see the, uh, the amount of rush treatment needed doing. But yeah, the paint's gone really far. It's gone on really well. It's really easy to use. 
they're quite happy with the step so far. I mean, if, if any of the rust starts coming through in the next few months, we'll know why. Uh, and we'll just have to do it all again. <coughs> So that'll probably do for today. I've, uh, I've done the paint test, so I've got to wait for that to dry, come back and sand it, see how it looks. And then I'll probably wait six months, see if any rust has come through. Um, I've done some prep for the breather tank. Cut a little hole out. Uh, I've got to get a breather for that. Also, I have kind of finalized for now. <laughs> it's like everything else for now. The water pipe, it's got some Jubilee clips and some more Jubilee clips holding that in. So just need to sort out the breather and an outlet. And we can get, well, just the breather really, we can get on with spray foam. Speaking of which, I've also done a test with some soil pipe cut to fit into the mushroom vents. So this one currently does have a massive overlap, but more on that next time, I think. But this will be uh, something to spray uh, into to a lip. This will be the same height as the ribs. 
so I can have something flush to go over to eventually put a so I won't have to scrape off any of the spray foam on the inside of the mushroom vents but we'll, we'll do more of that next time I think when we come back and see if the paint's gone off and what everybody thinks so yeah I'll show you what I'm doing with that with the mushroom vents in time but yeah I think that'll do today gotta get home in time to watch the football yeah have a good weekend everybody hope you're having fun